Hey guys, it's Elena, your expat living and working in Odessa, Ukraine. I know how much you loved the previous video in which I showed you a tour of the plants that grow in my apartment, so this time I decided why don't I actually take you uh, to the nursery with me because we are planning to buy a plant or two. I'll show you their collection, I'll show you the prices and you'll finally see the plants that will come home with us. If you haven't seen the plant tour video, I honestly recommend you start with that one and don't forget to come back here uh, because this one is even more interesting in some regards. Before I head out, I wanted to propagate this um, pothos. So the thing is we moved it on my desk and it's getting a little bit long. When I open the window, I step on it. It's not very good. So I take all the vines and I think I'll be cutting along this line. So somewhere here. So I just gather them like this. I'll take the scissors and then I'll start cutting the vines as, so basically the same level, which is good. And then I'll take this vines and we just need the nodes. So this one, this one, this will be the place where the root grows from at the junction of the leaf and of the wine. And this part you don't actually need. So just to repeat the same procedure. During the last propagation, I used some fertilizer, but I don't think I'll use any this time because I read the roots can get moldy. And from this step, just collect the leaves. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and 24. Okay, and then we'll try to put them all in this, in this jar. I already prefilled it with water. Okay, and our jar is done. We discard everything else. And in less than five minutes, I think, we were able to propagate all the plants is as easy as that. And that being said, I think we need to head out to be in time for the nursery. A portion of the French Boulevard that doesn't have as many people so I can take my mask down because I'm sweating so hot. The nursery is only three kilometers away from our place and since we don't go outside of our house we decided this would be such an amazing opportunity to go out. Uh, the quarantine is extended in Ukraine until the 22nd of June uh, but in a relaxed state. We're finally here after 40 minutes of walking. <laughs> I can I can feel that I haven't been exercising a lot lately because even a 40 minutes walk makes me sweat. It's so beautiful outside. You know, we just went indoors and for two months almost didn't go out. And now when we see everything, it's so green, it's so beautiful. Everything is blooming. The perfume from the trees and the grass is amazing. But one thing that worries me a lot is that people are not wearing any mask any longer. So quarantine in Odessa has been uh, extended until the end of June, but the restaurants are open, people don't protect in any way. I think it will just lead to a higher spike in cases. Before you enter the nursery, you have to wear a mask and you have to wear a glove, so this is mandatory and actually it's really, really good because people don't go in spreading all kinds of viruses. 
And here, they have some sanitizer. of the big blend that we have at home but only for 70 grivnias which is around three dollars great purchase especially because it has this amazing beautiful flowers as soon as you get at home it will flower and I'm sure there are many more coming on the way just to flower definitely would invest in something like this but not an option for us because we have a much bigger plant at home just wanted to bring it up Look at this one, such huge flowers and uh, the color, the magenta color and the pinks are just amazing. I don't know what this is. Oh, and there's another one with smaller flowers. I'd love to get something like that. And the plant looks really lush. We could put in our apartment and I'm sure that something like this would look really good. Again, the problem for me with plants with flowers is that I don't know what kind of conditions do I have to create for it at home in order for the plant to flower. In the nursery it looks great and then you take it at home and you know once the flowers kind of bloom out there is not much you know to do with the plant. So I do prefer uh, plants with leaves, beautiful leaves instead. This is a golden pothos, but look how thick the vine is, not to be compared with the one that we have at home. Uh, it's twice as thick, like a very vigorous plant. And this one goes for 240 grivnias, which I think it's a good price. The plant looks really healthy. It's a bird of paradise. Obviously, we're not going to buy it because we have a much bigger one at home, but I think it looks amazing. And it only costs 2,500 grivnias, which is our, like, it's around $90. But given the number of leaves and how healthy the plant looks, I think it's an amazing deal. Like, if I could get it, uh, I would definitely get it, but we just don't need it. This is a good idea. Very colorful leaves. It's called Kaleus. I'm not sure about the translation because uh, the names are written in Russian. I'll try to put it um, in the, um, on the video. And it's only 45 grivnias, which is almost like $3, $4. Very, very cheap. I'm wondering if it maintains the bright red coloring of the leaves, even, you know, <laughs> in apartment conditions, because here in the nursery, they all look great. Um, but at home, sometimes the leaves fade. I'm wondering if it will be much better to get a small Monstera. We can fit it uh, properly on the table. It's not too big because we already have two very big plants and the apartment is uh, uh, not so big as to accommodate another big one. And this one just costs 250 grivnias, which I think is a pretty good deal for, for a plant like that. I think the more light it gets, the darker it gets, and also more uh, rips it gets, like this beautiful pattern that you have seen on Pinterest, no doubt. We have entered another nursery, and here they put plants that require, I think, less humidity, less heat, and we are near the stand with the succulents, those tiny, small little plants uh, that I so much enjoy. Uh, I made a deal with Eugene so that each of us can get a plant. So we have to choose the top one plant that we most like from the nursery and that would be the plant that we go home. Like each one will go home with a plant. I think this is a really good match with Eugene because he uh, has been dreaming about having some succul succulents on his desk for such a long time and I still haven't decided what I want to buy. You guys, we have been looking for such a rubber plant for a very, very long time. I saw it on Pinterest and I liked it so much. Look at the leaves. They are part white, part light green, and then part dark green. This is really unusual and very beautiful. And you'd be surprised by how much it costs. It only costs 100 grivnias for, you know, a healthy plant like that. So that's like, that's definitely one of the, <laughs> probably one of the plants we'll go home with. It's so amazing. And there's a pink one right there. But I like the white one better. Mm. 
What about a bonsai tree like this one? It is um, pretty grown and it costs... How much does it cost? No, there is no price. I don't know. Oh. So this one is 2450 which I think is uh, $100. This is a different variety of croton, the plant that we also have in our apartment. But the leaves here are more unusual. I have never seen this sort of, um, this sort of plant before. And I find it really interesting. Dark green leaves with the bright yellow marbling. I think this would look good especially in a more neutral pot. Oh, and <laughs> the most important part, it costs 130 grivnias, which makes it pretty accessible. Oh, the orchids are really beautiful. My husband's mom really loves them, and then uh, my husband's uh, grandmother also loves orchids, so it runs on my husband's side of family, the love for orchids. I like this one. It has a very elegant purple color. And the swans are very cute. This orchid, for example, is 250 grivnias. And I think that's the price across all the types. Look at this one. This is a baby snake plant. It looks so great. Um, it's small, it's very compact, it's dense, and it's only uh, 240 grivnias, like the, um, like the orchids. But I prefer this one so much better, and it's a super resistant plant. Some rubber plants, and these are bromelias. I wonder what kind of plant has to fit in a pot big like this. I can fit into a pot with Eugene. We're trying to find a pot for the two plants that we've chosen. And uh, the pot part is usually the most difficult one. Because the majority of the ones that we see here are a little bit kitsch and too colorful. <laughs> like those ones. Maybe there are customers who want to put their plants in pots like this, but I prefer the plant to be the center of attention, not some bright pot. We're home again and it's time for the big reveal. As I promised, we only took two plants, and I'll start with my choice, what I brought home. Oof! It's a beautiful baby, Monstera Deliciosa. Let me show you the plant. I'm sure you have seen it in the nursery, but this is it. As you can see, it's rather small, and because it's a small Monstera, the, the rippings on, on the leaves are not as big. Still, it's a very beautiful plant, and we chose this um, concrete material uh, pot for, for it. It's a little bit big for the size, but that means that for uh, an extended period of time, we can keep it in uh, this pot without you know needing to replant it. Tell me in the comments, guys, what do you think about this plant? Which one do you prefer? Eugene's choice will go next. Dum -da -dum -dum -dum. This is a beautiful composition that me and Eugene made from one cactus and from two succulents. This is the cactus. It's light green in color. And then we got this small burgundy succulent and the bigger light green ones that is currently flowering. It's really beautiful. We had some doubts at the beginning but we uh, saw some compositions in, in this shop and we uh, wondered why not because since we uh, lived in California around two years ago we fell in love with succulents and wanted to have this plant uh, in our apartment for such a long time 
succulents usually grow in this uh, pretty shallow pot, like wide and shallow. And we chose this ancient style material for the pot. It looks like an ancient Greek vase. Thank you so much for watching again. Leave any comments um, down below and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.